Oh, also, please give me your first name because, again, the paper is here. Uh, in your discussion, uh, what were, when you talked to people, what were they doing on September 11th? How did you find out about the attacks? Any good insights or stories? My wait, wait, first name, please. Jacob. Thank you. My father was working in Reed City at Craft Hill doing maintenance, and it spread through the factory within about an hour. And they weren't for sure what exactly had happened. They just knew that two airplanes had crashed into the Twin Towers. They weren't for sure if it was an attack or if it was just a training exercise. Okay. Do you know how many people approximately work at the factory? At least 800. 800? Somewhere. Whoa. And within an hour, everybody knew? While they're working? That's it. So just for people telling radios, whatever. Because it's a small, it's no bigger than maybe... Feet long. Okay. So wow. it's small and compact. So, but they don't know what happened. They, they just heard that there had been something, a plane crash. Wow. What did they say was kind of the, did he talk about? Were people afraid? Just they didn't know? They didn't know if it was a training exercise, if it was a terrorist attack, if anything was going to happen to anybody else around the United States. Sure. If it was an attack on all major cities. Right. Perfect. That's a check. Thank you, Jacob. Yes. Um, first, I met first, first name, um, please. Maddie Simmons, yes. Good. Um, on that day, my mom, she went on a bike ride with my um, aunt in Rockford. And while they were on the bike ride, they noticed that two planes made a U-turn in the sky, but they didn't think much of it. And as soon as they got back from the bike ride, um, they turned on the radio in the car, and ABC News was on, and announced the attacks, and both my mom and my aunt were shaking full of adrenaline because they were so shocked and scared. Have you ever seen an airplane fly overhead and make a U-turn? Yeah. I've never seen that. That would strike me as rather interesting. Why did they make the U-turn? What had happened? I mean, obviously September 11th, but what did, what did the president order? Yes, all planes to return back to their city and be grounded. So they're on a bike ride to see a plane overhead hit a U-turn. Very, very strange. Thanks. Good story. Anybody else? Good. Thank you. Perfect. Question two. Remember, everyone has to talk. We've only got six questions, so we're going to need you know five, six, seven people per question. What was your immediate reaction to the attacks? The person that you interviewed, what was the, their immediate reaction? Um, first, first name, please. Jillian. Thank you. Um, my grandmother, her, her first reaction. Can you oh. speak up a little bit, Jillian? Sorry. Her first reaction was that it was a plane crash. And then um, she remembered that the first tower she saw on the TV that was like burning down. She just thought it was the most scary thing she ever seen. So she thought it was just a plane crash, nothing major. The people that you interviewed, just raise your hand. How many thought it was just an accident, just a plane crash? Then when they found out it was a terrorist attack, that's when the fear and, and uh, stuff started to set in. Good, thank you, perfect. Yeah? Um, my mom was at work and someone- Name, please. Oh, Madeline. Um, and someone like, came into her room and told her, and she was so like, she thought it was a joke, like she didn't even get there Sure. What was her reaction when she found out it was true, did she say? She was just very worried because my uncle, he worked at the World Trade Center, but he, like, I don't think he was there that day because he's, he's fine. Oh, you're kidding. Your uncle actually works there. Yeah. But he wasn't. Well, he used to be. Used to. Used to? Yeah. But he wasn't there that day or something. Yeah. Wow. So your mom heard this, yeah, she was didn't know where your uncle was, yeah. and started to probably uh, be pretty worried now. Yeah. How long did it take for her to find out your uncle was okay? I don't know, probably not that long. Interesting. Good, thank you. <coughs> yeah. Um, Brenda, my mom said she was like really shocked when she didn't, she was just standing there and she couldn't believe that they were burning down and that it was like a terrorist attack and everything because she didn't think it could happen to our country. Like, no one really thought it would happen. Before 9 11, did people in America even consider terrorism from your interviews? I wouldn't even thought of it. Do you guys ever think about terrorism? Just in your daily life, walking around? No, no. 
Not much. If you lived in New York, might you? Yeah. Yeah. I, I know that what I saw, well, how many people that you interviewed, they saw live the second plane hit? That's pretty common. Because the first plane hit, the news went crazy, and everyone started watching the news. And then the second plane hit, a lot of people saw that live. And that's when they went, this is a terrorist attack, or something is going on. I remember going home, and, and I remember exactly where I was. I, when I was told, going to see the TV, being shocked, and then thinking, boy, is this major all across America? But I do remember thinking, we're safe. We're in Big Rapids. Okay, so, you know, kind of interesting. However, if I lived in New York, Boston, Washington, D.C., something like that, it might be different. Uh, others, yeah, Caleb, thanks. Um, my graph found out about the attacks, he was really mad, and he was ready to go sign back up for the Army. <laughs> that is interesting. How, who was it, your dad or grandpa? My grandpa. How old is your grandpa? He's 63. <laughs> 63-ish, okay, <laughs> stop counting at that point maybe. He wanted to go sign up for the military. <coughs> he was so fired up. Did anyone else, anyone else get that response? That is pretty common amongst the men in the country. I mean, not a lot of young ladies want to sign me up. But a lot of men said, I will go enlist, and tons did. And this especially when we declared war. A lot of people enlisted. They're fired up. Great story. Yeah. Um, my mom said she was working in the East Dallas Lawn. Can you speak up and maybe face a little bit that way so they can hear you? And um, my dad was watching the news. So your mom is cutting someone's hair. Well, I don't know exactly what she was doing. She did a lot of different stuff. You know, but, um, Working on somebody. Yeah, and my dad just come downstairs and said, you gotta come see this. And then so, he went upstairs and they watched the, the car. Yeah, maybe, I don't know if it was the TV upstairs. Or they had a TV down there in the salon. Yeah. They might have turned that one on. But, uh, they were both just kind of shocked. And they thought it was an accident at first. But so there literally could have been someone with like hair curlers in their hair <laughs> and stuff going running to see the TV. Yeah. See what happened. Wow, good story. Thank you. Yeah. Can can you say your name, please? Ashley. Thank you. Well, he was what? They left work or whatever they're doing to go check on their family. Anyone else get that response? That is very interesting. I have not heard that because we're such a small town. But very good. Thank you. That's good. Jasmine. Oh, right, Jasmine, can you say your name, please? Jasmine. Thanks. <laughs> She got a call from a family member saying, I'm okay, don't worry. But she hadn't even heard yet. And um, she said that she didn't want to remember. I asked her what her most favorite memory was, and she said that she doesn't think about it because it's not something she wants to remember. Ah. And that um, she doesn't understand why everybody like, wants to have an annual thing about 9-11 um, because it brings back, bring back bad memories, and it's not sure. something that people want to think about. Interesting. So some people, when a bad event happens, they want to have like a memorial event and remember it to kind of honor. And some people say, let's not do that because it was such an awful event. Let's move on, move past it, not interesting. Others, let's go these two and then we got to move on to another question. Yes. Gary, um, my 
So he's working, and they called everyone from work to go in and watch the TV. That is so common. Time almost stopped when that happened. Did you guys get that sense? Classes stopped. Work stopped. Everyone stopped doing what they were doing and went to the TV immediately. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Can you do name two, please? September 11th. Miss um, Nelson. Miss Nelson, can you do your name, please? Oh.
go to its target, knowing that they're going to die. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, I went to New York with my mom and um, some friends, and um, we went to the memorial of the Twin Towers. And you could read people's stories, and like you could push buttons, and like you could hear people talking or anything. And it was like um, it was, you could hear in the background it was like a background of panic mm -hmm. and just um, devastation. And I remember reading one guy's story about how his wife called him because like they heard about what was happening, and his wife called him and. Um, he was telling her that he was all right and told him or told her that he loved her and that he loved the kids and everything and that he would see her soon and he knows all right. Yeah. You guys remember the famous quote that came from those passengers that went and attacked? You guys remember that? One of the guys called home and was saying that to his wife and saying, he says, okay, here's what's happening. We know that this, he finds out from his wife that has been a terrorist attack. Their plane is basically being held hostage and flying. So he said, we're going to do something. And the last thing he said, he handed the phone to someone else and said to a bunch of guys, let's roll. And they all went. And that was the last that those people were heard of. Doesn't that mean that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Other comments, people's response that they saw of the, after September 11th. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This one is interesting. How did the people respond? Did they see changes in America? Laws and government? What did we see change because of 9-11? We're going to go one, two, three, and then Jillian, four. Go ahead. My name is Caitlin. Um, after 9-11, everybody became more aware of terrorism. They always thought that it couldn't happen to us, but then after 9-11, they all kind of freaked out, and the government pretty much went on a rampage to have high <coughs> security with everything kind of taking it overboard sometimes it seemed like. You guys remember the initial reaction? You guys you probably don't remember much and we'll get into it later. The Patriot Act, it's all these rules and laws the government instilled to try to protect us from terrorists and people hated that. Some people hated the Patriot Act because like the federal government could tap people's phone lines without getting like the warrants. So if your phone, you're talking and you say one of those code words, bomb or whatever, um, that would get picked up and immediately the government could start listening to your phone line. Okay, and some people thought that that was too much power for the federal government. Another thing that happened is if you're on a, like a library computer and you search for certain things like how to build a bomb, that gets flagged and immediately they can go to that library and find out who checked out that computer because you have to sign in and they can start watching your internet um, stuff, what you're doing. So a lot of people said it's too much power for the federal government. And that's that, do you want safety and protection or do you want personal freedom? And lots of people struggle with that. Homeland security, things like that. Security at airports, lots of stuff has changed. Um, good, thank you. Other people? Did I say a second? Yeah. I'm Anna. Um, like you said, the airport security, because I remember when I was really little, my dad would travel and fly a lot in. So we were used to going up to the gates and stuff with them. And then after 9-11, my mom always told us, you can't go back up there anymore. Yep. And us kids kind of missed it, but we understand now why we can't go up there. And my family, I guess, since my brother's in the Army, he sits down and talks to us about it too. When we were little, he just told us what was going on and what can possibly happen to him and everything. Sure. And so it affected everything. For your family, your brothers in the army, it's affected everything. It's changed your life, your whole family. Absolutely. I remember flying. We fly quite a bit, and before 9/11, it would take a max. If you went to Grand Rapids Airport, a max of 30 minutes to get there, check in, get through security, and get to your gate. Right after 9/11 same airport it's taking two hours to get through and do that stuff so pretty amazing I remember the first time I flew after 9-11 I always take um, my bathroom bag of like toothpaste toothbrush shampoo stuff like that well I didn't know all that got thrown away you know because you couldn't carry any liquids and stuff with you and bottles so pretty amazing who did I say was third yeah um I'm Jake again 
most of the airport security like tightening up inside and checking the plane and checking everywhere just to make sure nothing happened to the plane while it was landed, sure. even during refueling. Yeah. And also fly laws. Some of the fly laws, I don't know any specifics, but I'm pretty sure the fly laws have changed. Interesting. Yeah. Jillian? Um, I actually have a um, security airport security thing. Like that. Well, yeah.
the most part is economically a little bit more stable than other countries, and the uh, leaders aren't bad. Cut it off there. Um, how many of you did get a chance to talk?